Two new tools in the toolbox for Business Central, the Object Inspector and the Data Inspector. Hey, I'm Eric, and uh, I've just added two new tools to uh, the toolbox for Business Central. The toolbox is a, um, it, it's a toolbox app. It, it's, it, it's an app that has a lot of different tools that helps you do support and, and administrative uh, operations on, on a Business Central uh, installation, either in the cloud or on-prem. Um, and let me show you the two new tools here. Um, so I've started the toolbox, and uh, of course the main functionality of toolbox is that you can write some code, and then you hit run, and it will run the code you're, you're writing. So no reason to, to get symbols, and compile, and deploy, and all that good stuff. Um, you, you write the code, you click, uh, and it's running in the, within the same instance. Um, but the new tool, the first of the new two tools, is the object inspector. So I select the object inspector, and now I can see all the objects that's in the system, and I can see what app supplied uh, the object. In this case, you can see these are all base app. Um, but if I, yeah, you see the, the language table actually did not come from base app, it came from system app. And if something came from a custom, uh, let's see if we do 50,400, I think there is, there's a page called filter groups that is from an app called filter group. Um, but let's take a look at if I search for customer. So we can see that we got tables, reports, and pages. If I select a page, I can do show details and see all the properties that about this uh, this page. I can see what controls are on the screen. In this case, that's just an image. And I can see the, the menu items that are also on this page. Um, if I hit run, I get the, uh, the, the page uh, shown. Not all pages can actually be run because some of them require a state, meaning that a certain page can only be open if it's been opened from something else and it's being prepared with the right settings and so on. Um, the same thing you can do with uh, with reports. So I select the report, I can show details and see the data items. I can see all the properties uh, of the report. Um, I can see what the default layout is and, and stuff like that. And of course I can also run the report if I want to do that. In this case, here's my customer top 10, with only five customers. Uh, and the last thing is, of course, a table. And, and now you know the spiel, so I can do show details. And I'll, I can see all the, de all the details about the tab this table. I can see all the fields that we have on the table. Um, but, and here's the second tool. So when I say run object on a table, Usually when you run a table in, in like from the page inspector or something like that, if you run a table, you get you can only open a table in read-only mode. Uh, and briefly there circulated a hack where you could pretend you were at a tablet and then it would open the edit. But but this is not it. This is the the toolbox building a custom version of uh, a custom page for this specific table. Uh, so we can see we got the table here, and and we got all the fields and and uh, everything looks formatted nicely. Letter the numbers are formatted correctly. Uh, if I go to a lookup field, I get a lookup, and if non lookup field, I do not get looks or lookup. And um, if if something is a boolean, I get a checkbox and. and it takes a keen eye to realize that this is perhaps not totally the way Microsoft would do it, but it's it's pretty close and very very usable. So I can go in and say uh, uh, edit edit something in any field. Um, I can go and say new, and this is where you can see there's a menu up here that says new and cancel new and and the reason for this is that this page is still kind of special uh so when i say new everything goes away and i can say 500 
Eric. Um, and depending on, in this case, sometimes you need to go cancel insert, say that now you're done with insert, otherwise this is actually just inserting this one. And in this case, I, I gotta close it unfortunately and, and open up. And, and now I have my new record here. Um, this is where the insert function is still uh, being worked on. So uh, this might change. So when you try it after watching this video, it might look slightly different. Another thing that you might notice is that the last column here is the balance LCY. And, and you can see if you, if you were a quick counter, then that's 50 columns. Uh, so if I go into settings and, and look at all the fields, um, we can see that there's a visible column here. And that means that these are the, the columns that are visible. Uh, so the, the, the page can at a maximum show 50 columns. So if I didn't need the balance and the balance LCY, I could select some other columns. Or if I don't need to, to mess with uh date filter i could go and grab the fax number field and so on uh, this is also where you if you need to set filters you set filters here uh, so when i close this it will tell you that um, hmm, you change the columns uh, you gotta reopen the page because business central doesn't support turning columns on and off so i need to close this one and then i run it again uh, and now we can see that now we got the different fields here. Um, and, and it remembers what fields you have selected for a table. So if you go back and open the same table again, it will show the same filters. So that leaves only one little surprise at the end. Um, let's, uh, let's touch the customizer entries. So I say run. Uh, object on that, so I opened the data inspector on the ledger entries. And uh, this takes a few seconds and it tells me to be careful because this is still kind of new. Uh, so now we have the Cosmo ledger entries. And let's say that I want to change something on a ledger entry. So now here there'll be dragons and this is dangerous and, and all the appropriate warnings, so uh, something else on this one. I tap out of the page and the toolbox is telling me, hang on, you are now messing with a protected table. Would you allow it? Um, and I can say, don't allow. I can always allow or uh, just allow in this session, for instance. So if I say allow in this session, I am now allowed to change something. So now I changed the posted entry. Um, and the reason I can this is because my user, if I close all this and go to the setup of the toolbox, go to users and find myself, I have been assigned God mode uh, privileges, meaning that I can do this. If I logged in as, as demo, then I was not allowed to touch that. Um, so that is a way to, to fix when something has gone horribly wrong. Of course, you can also break stuff, uh, but that's on you. Um, so those are the two new tools, the, uh, the object inspector, and uh, let's see if it opens. There we go. The data inspector. Um, you can check out the toolbox in, uh, in AppSource and uh, let me know in comments below what you think about these new tools. Thanks.